Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So today I'm going to be talking about Darling in the Franks. Um, this is a very hard show for me. <laughs> Honestly, I want to like it. I really do. I really did like the characters, even though I did find it was pretty painfully average, but that's just me. Um, I found it to be a very fun show to watch. It was one of those... It's not the best thing you've ever watched, but you're still going to watch it anyways. It was a good show to just waste your time on and watching. And just get immersed into the action and the lives of these people and this dystopian world. Everything was just so interesting and I really did like it until they got to the final episodes. So I'm going to put a little spoiler warning in here. Um, I, I'm going to talk about the ending of it because that's really what just changed my opinion on the show 100% I, I thought it was a pretty average pretty good show until the final couple of episodes where they had this huge twist okay so I'm gonna go into a little bit of spoilers three two one if you don't want to listen to this you can mute me or whatever but yeah so pretty much they bring in the aliens and it's just too much of a stretch I felt it was just too much of a jump like you had the Klaxors and I could I could get behind those because they were already in the world they already had shown that these guys exist and then in the final couple of episodes they throw in aliens and it just it just totally lost me and I just ended up just not caring much anymore. I did not care for the last couple of episodes at all. I absolutely hated them and it was a bear for me to watch. And then Strelasia Alpus, her true form, I was kind of like, oh, that's kind of weird. It just ended up being a giant zero too. I was kind of like, whatever at that point. And then just the final episode, I, I'm totally fine with hero becoming a franks or whatever i was fine with that what i wasn't fine with was just the whole alien aspect it was just a bit too much and i just i really didn't enjoy it and then they totally changed the tone of the show at the very end in the last episode they kind of smushed way too much into one episode I would have been fine with never knowing how these guys, how the future was for the kids. I, they kind of, in those last couple of episodes, ruined all the character development. They put so much effort into the characters and the development of these characters, and then they just became kind of blank slates by the end. And it just was really disappointing for me. And then, just the whole, uh, what's her name, Mitsuru, and uh, what's her name, Kokono, no it's not, Kokoro, I don't know, oh my gosh, one second guys, yeah it is Kokoro, okay, so their whole relationship, I loved it, I loved it, and then they got their mind wipes wiped, and you're like, oh no, what's gonna happen? The thing I don't really like about that is just how sloppily it was wrapped up. Like, you pretty much find out Kokoro's pregnant and then he's like, yeah, I'm gonna be a father. And they kind of, I guess, fall back in love. But it's just very weird. It's not like... It, it just didn't feel right. It was, like, done so wrong. It wasn't... The love that they had found before, it wasn't them remembering or getting those memories back or anything. Uh, it's just... Uh, it's just, I, I got so involved in this world, and then for them to just do that, just, is heartbreaking. So, okay. Done with spoilers now. <laughs> We're gonna stop. But, like, would I recommend this anime? I'd have to say no, just because of... How much of a letdown those last couple of episodes were.
and it's just it's so sad it's just it could have been it could have been great it's just very frustrating to just even think about and I just uh, and the thing is, is like I still do like the characters and stuff like I love Zero Two which is of course why I'm drawing her today I love her character but I hate her show it's just uh, they did they did the show dirty so many ways I, I, I'm so tempted to buy like Zero Two's Nendroid but I, I do not want to put money towards something that I didn't fully enjoy uh, it's just frustrating when stuff ends up like that. And it just, I guess, shows like this can kind of teach you a lesson. <laughs> um, just, uh, for one, I guess don't get your hopes too high. But number two, like, uh, what do I want to say? Just don't throw in twists at the very end that you can't wrap up properly and you can't explain properly. Just the fact that they threw in the verm was just too much. Ugh, I'm so sorry. Ugh. I'm so disappointed. And I just kind of wanted to chew your ear off for this. It's just, ugh. And I didn't even have a problem. If you know the show, you know it's got a lot of children and kind of sexual situations. And kind of growing up. And I'm, I didn't have a problem with that. It was kind of interesting. It was humorous at times. They were pretty good at the humor, but it's just... Uh, everything else. It's just those last four or five episodes just totally ruined the entire series. And that's kind of something that you want to keep in mind if you ever plan on doing anything in the future. Don't... Like, your ending is important. Don't half-ass it. The ending of any story is important, and that's what people are going to remember. It's not... They'll remember the good moments in the show, but if the ending is so bad that it ruins the whole show, you've just totally wasted your, your whole project. You've just wasted a bunch of time just to disappoint someone. So, I just want to just say, like, if you're going to do endings, like, really plan them out. Um... What I've learned is that you should plan out your endings before you start your project. You, Before you even like know where you're starting, you should at least know where you're ending. Where do you want to go? And then you can create the paths in the middle. You really do want to know the big par plot points that you want to reach. Uh, so, for example, I'm going to connect this back to me. Um, if... So, yeah. <laughs> I know how my story is going to end, for the most part. Um, and I have some big plot points that I know that I want to include in my story. So, I'm kind of working towards those. And working to connect the parts in the middle and figure out what I'm going to do. And that's kind of how you construct a story and stuff. But you got to know where you're going. It just felt like they almost didn't know where they were going. They were just lollygagging around and then suddenly they're like oh um right we were set for 24 episodes and we don't know how we're gonna end it or they like didn't plan it well enough and ended up running out of time but yeah okay i'm gonna i'm gonna peace out now guys so if you like this video please leave a like leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this show. I, I really want to see what you guys think. I've not found a ton of people who actually agree with me. So, um, I would love if you let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, please like, comment, let's see. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And share this with your friends. Spread, spread my videos. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, okay, until next time, guys. Bye-bye!